You know what time it is it is time to track the tropics and we have a lot to talk about of course we are still expecting our very first hurricane of the Atlantic Basin season to form in just a couple of days let's check out what was forecast before the season started and while we've been going through hurricane season before the season of course Noah indicated that they were thinking hey it's going to be a fairly busy season. We're thinking 13 to 19 named storms out of those six to 10 becoming hurricanes. And of those, about three to five becoming major hurricanes. That would be category three, four, or five. Colorado State University meteorologists, as of the month of July, we're thinking there'd be about 16 named storms, eight of those becoming hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. Now, our average includes about 14 name storms typically during a normal season seven of those becoming hurricanes and about three becoming major hurricanes so far this season we're up to five name storms we've had andrea tropical storm barry chantal dexter tropical storm erin is our current system and then the next name on the list would be fair non and then gabrielle but we've got to worry about erin first that is the one we're concerned about right now so here is the latest with the forecast models with the track with tropical storm air and which is still pretty far out into the eastern Atlantic overall trend over the last 12 to 24 hours has been a slight southward shift to the track so it is still expected to become likely a major hurricane by the end of the weekend and there will be a wide range of possible tracks into next week so once it gets past some of the Caribbean islands some of those northeastern Caribbean islands especially that's when there's continues to be a bit of uncertainty as to where it will head. So we'll keep you posted with the latest models. Right now, here is the current path, the current wind speed, maximum sustained winds at 45 miles per hour, racing to the west at 22 miles per hour. Of course, it is a tropical storm as of the 4 p.m. advisory, and you can see it's still way out in the eastern Atlantic. It will race west to the central Atlantic and then get very close to some of those Caribbean islands by this weekend. It's also going to move into some much warmer water this weekend and that will help to strengthen it. Warmer water, lower wind shear, an ideal environment for strengthening. So that's why you see it jump to a category two hurricane by Saturday afternoon, 110 mile per hour winds. And how about a category three major hurricane by Sunday afternoon with 115 mile per hour winds. Here's something else I want you to notice. It is forecast to be a little to the north of Puerto Rico by Sunday as a major hurricane. So that means some impacts could be felt if you've got a cruise or maybe you're just hopping on a plane and going on a vacation there keep checking back because there could be some potential issues water temps are super steamy and warm out there in the Gulf in the Western Atlantic in much of the Caribbean so we've got temps in the middle to upper 80 so as Aaron moves into this warmer water that is when we are expecting it to really pick up that strength and intensity and that is when it will become hurricane most likely and even a major hurricane here's another thing working in the favor of strengthening for Aaron all of that thick Saharan dust that we've had for much of this hurricane season really kind of starting to become less widespread. The dark brown will show you where we do still have some thick pockets of that Saharan dust, but the lighter brown will show where it's kind of starting to become a little thinner, a little less widespread. So that will give Aaron more of an opportunity to really get going as it gets closer to some of those Caribbean islands and closer to the Bahamas and east coast of the U.S. All right, here is the trend at this point from our Fox Weather Tropical model. Notice by Thursday, it's into the central Atlantic and it is likely going to become at least a category one hurricane by Thursday night. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it is likely going to go through rapid strengthening as it moves into much warmer water, low wind shear. You can see here Saturday, 6.30 p.m. looking fairly impressive on our Fox weather model. And there is San Juan, Puerto Rico. Notice it's not that far away. So this certainly bears watching because 
because we are going to have the potential for this to bring some impacts to Puerto Rico and maybe to the Virgin Islands as well. All right, here are the steering currents. We got the big Bermuda High sitting across the central Atlantic, and we're thinking still if this remains a stronger system, it will kind of get picked up by that Bermuda High and lift it more to the north. That may keep it away from the east coast, but if it remains a little weaker, it may kind of get shoved farther west. So I don't think it's going to make it all the way to the Gulf, but it could potentially make it close to the east coast of the U.S. and maybe parts of the Bahamas. And yes, some impacts to Puerto Rico as well. So we got to watch this closely. Keep checking back as we get more details, more updates. We will continue to fine tune that forecast. But I did want to show you a cruise forecast for Puerto Rico for this weekend because, yeah, there could be some issues. Friday, few showers brewing, temps near 90, but it's Saturday and Sunday, even if this hurricane passes to the north, we're still talking about those outer rain bands impacting part to Puerto Rico, rough surf, life-threatening rip currents. So these are all things that could impact your vacation plans, maybe some cruise plans this weekend. So make sure that you are checking back and keeping a close eye on it. All right, any other areas to watch? Well, we have a couple. We do have a weak disturbance in the Northwest Atlantic, closer to Nova Scotia, but it's only a 10% chance for development for this. And as it moves into cooler waters by Wednesday, it likely will totally fall apart so not expecting much to happen there the only other area that we are watching for tropical development really has almost no chance for tropical development it's a near zero percent chance for this disturbance near new orleans it's near that north central gulf coast and it is going to be a stormy region lots of heavy rain lots of strong storms but not expecting much in the way of tropical development however we are getting a lot of tropical moisture here so heavy downpours for parts of the north central gulf coast including the houston area muggy with scattered downpours for the next few days all right we are making our way through august what can we expect for the rest of this month well the activity as you can tell is really starting to ramp up and you can see those areas in the darker red western atlantic and that pink area central atlantic those are going to be the regions where we will have the higher likelihood for more tropical systems developing so we are expecting more tropical waves rolling off the west coast of Africa over the next week or two. Hopefully they'll stay away from Houston and the rest of the U.S., but of course we will be monitoring it and keeping you updated as things develop.